Welcome back everyone to another video on fishing tips brought to you by Rocky Point Boat Dock. Today we're going to go ahead and tie a hook on the end of the leader that we just went and made in a prior video. Uh, this type of hook is a treble hook and what we advocate at Rocky Point Boat Dock is a smaller hook. Uh, most people, a lot of people can use a, a larger hook with a spring on it that uh, retains the uh, dough bait. But what we like to do is use a smaller hook and uh, basically it copies uh, the effect of bait that's floating in the water. Fish usually see that small piece of bait instead of a golf ball sized piece of bait and they usually hit it hard and swallow it all the way down to their belly button. So uh, today we're going to go ahead and use this small number 18 treble hook and place it on the end of our leader. So we're going to start by feeding the end of the line into the eyelet of the treble hook and then I'll pinch this off. I've run about probably a couple inches of line through here. What you want to do is you want to have at least seven turns on the treble hook. Uh, I don't really count. I go ahead and just spin this until I see kind of a braided look on the fishing line. This type braid kind of looks like rope. And then I go ahead and grab the end of the fishing line right here, the tail I call it, and I feed it right back through. I feed it right back through the loop that's in the filament, not the eyelet. As you can see, it's not the eyelet of the hook. It's just the uh, loop in the filament that's at the end. All right, before I really cinch that down, I do it uh, just the same thing as I did on the other video. I go ahead, put a little bit of spit on the end of my fingertip and I rub that into the knot. I want to make sure that knot is tightened and nice and firm and it's tightened the best way we can and that helps it slip right up to the eyelid of the hook. Now we're going to trim out any excess that's connected on the hook there and we want to uh, probably keep about a sixteenth of an inch and uh, we're going to go ahead and check that knot again and she's nice and tight, so it'll be all set and ready to catch that big one. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for our next video on an earthworm hook. Please rate and comment. Thank you.